Hey, Steve here. And uh, today in talking about uh, the school administration and bus drivers, I want to make sure that I, I get focused on one of the most important skills that a bus driver can have when working with kids and parents. But before I get there, I want to tell a little story. I'll never forget uh, when I was in middle school, I had a bus driver whose name was John. Now, I didn't get to meet John until uh, um, a big problem happened on a previous bus that I rode that was just down the street where the bus driver, the students did not like her. Now, just before you say anything, I didn't cause the problem, by the way. <laughs> but the... Uh, but what did happen was, and this upset my mom very much, because um, she decided that uh, this bus wasn't the bus for me. Um, what happened was uh, a group of seniors that were on the bus decided uh, one afternoon in, when they got off the bus, they were so angry at this bus driver that uh, they laid down in front and behind the bus so she couldn't go anywhere. <laughs> and they just stayed there. Now, the funny thing is, is that if they'd had all the social media we have today, that would have been all over the world. But it did make an impression on many of the parents which complained to the school system. That bus driver did not, I'm pretty sure she did not like kids. And uh, she made sure that she said it and let you know it every bit of the way. I was a quiet kid who, uh, who got on the bus and uh, um, tried to do my thing. But uh, that day just kind of stopped my, my parent from being excited about me riding that bus. And what happened was they decided, you know what, let's, we'll just move uh, Steve to a a different bus stop which was not that much further away but it could have been miles away compared to the abilities of the bus drivers to connect with the kids because John was the coolest bus driver I think I've ever met now he wasn't like you know trying to be all connected with the kids with their music and all this sort of stuff no he took time to learn your name, to meet, to greet you, to say hi, and if he could see parents waiting at the bus stop early in the school year, he would make sure that he came off the bus and said hi, all right, or called them to the bus, that type of thing, because he liked to meet the parents. Well, one of the things that was going on in uh, seventh grade with me is that you know, my parents were divorced, and oftentimes I would spend the weekend with my dad. Well, because of that, my dad would get me to the bus stop, and we always weren't necessarily running on time, right? <laughs> and John learned that rather quickly. He said to me one day, he said, why is it that some weekends are you late? He just asked me, and I told him that uh, uh, my parents were divorced, and on those weekends when I've been late, that's because my dad's driving from further away, and uh, we're trying to get there in time. So he said, he said, okay, he goes, uh, I'll wait for you for a few minutes, and, and he did that for a couple of times. And when he did that, he made sure on those days that he had a little talk with my father to make sure that he knew that he couldn't always wait on me. That was pretty cool because John got to know me, he got to know my father, he got to know my mother, and he got to know the situation that uh, caused some difficulty sometimes. I'll never forget John because he made riding that bus a nice experience. Well, one of the things I want to talk about today is that the most important tool that you have with behavior management on a bus is that the kids know that you know who they are. <laughs> Sounds simple enough, doesn't it? But you'd be surprised how many adults don't use the names of the kids, nor do they learn their names, nor do they ever talk to them except to say something like, hey, you, be quiet, shut up and sit down, don't talk. No, 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 <laughs> that type of thing, right? Well, it's important to get to know your kids because that is the number one thing that's going to help you with bus behavior management. So it kind of go, it goes like this. When you get your rosters, make sure that you take special interest and in, in that opportunity to meet each child and connect their name with who they are. So the first step is check that roster as you go to those stops. Make sure that you ask as the child's getting on who they are. And then the second part to this is that you've got to use their names, right? You can't just do it the one time. You use their names after that. Hey, Steve, have a good day. Steve, good to see you this morning. Hey, Steve, how, did, you have, did you spend the weekend with your dad this weekend? I hope you had fun. You know, that type of thing. Well, the bus driver that is such a powerful tool when you use their names because the kids know that you know who they are so that when you're looking in that mirror and you're looking at the back of the bus like this all the way back there the bus driver knows who Steve is 
And Steve knows, the bus driver knows who Steve is. And the other kids know that their names are known also. So instead of, hey, you, hey, you, 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 back there. That's right, you in the back, back there. Which you, I don't know, the you sitting next to the other you. <laughs> right? They know you know who they are. That's important. So the first part of under, you know, getting to know kids is simply you get the roster, you connect the, the name with the person. The second part of it is using their names, right? That is so important. And then finally, the, the third part of this in getting to know kids is to take that next step, which is to reach out to parents and say hi to parents and make sure you connect the name of the kid, the child, to the parent. Now, this can be done in many different ways. One of the things that the school can help you out with is, uh, and, and administration, this is one of the things you want to think about here, is that you could have, on a parent evening, you invite the bus drivers so that the, the bus drivers can have a table and they actually get a chance to meet the parents. Another way of doing this is that when you give them rosters, that you give them a whole bunch of these automatically pre-postage paid postcards where they could write a note on it that says, hey, I'm Steve and I'm getting ready to be Steven's bus driver and I'm looking forward to a great year of driving down Route 66, whatever, you know, and then you pay for the postage. All you got to do is they fill them out, they bring them back to school, and uh, you make sure they get stuck in the mail, that type of thing, before school ever starts. What a cool thing. There's other ways through email and such, but you'd be surprised how just the simplest reaching out makes a bus driver seem so much more like a real person, right? And so you can help your bus drivers in connecting with kids and their families by helping them with this type of uh, idea. Think about those postcards. If you put on there a sticker that said, hey, we got this, you got uh, parent night coming up on this night and you'll be able to meet me as well as your, your kids' teachers and all that sort of stuff. What a great way to connect not only a bus driver, but the school with the parent too. So it's important to make sure that uh, as a, as a school administration, you talk with your bus drivers about getting to know the kids and help them understand how important it is for them to uh, connect with the kids. First thing they need to do, that's right, number one, you make sure that they get the rosters and they start connecting those names with the child. The second thing that they need to do is they need to make sure they use the names with the children as much and often as possible and as many times without it being connected to negativity. And then the final thing is let's reach out to parents. Let's get to know the parents. Let's help them get to know the parents. And I got to tell you, those prepaid postage cards are a great way of doing it. I don't get any kickback for that. <laughs> That's just a postage thing, right? <laughs> but it's so powerful. Or having a parent night and you invite the bus drivers there to meet the parents and the parents to meet their bus driver. Just some general thoughts about that. So don't forget, let's take care of our bus drivers. Thank you very much. Thanks for listening. Take care. Ta-ta.